Over the last six months, there has been many, many videos of BYD electric cars being tested in Europe, in Germany, in the UK, and they've gotten you know, pretty good reviews. Some of them great, some of them okay, but in general, BYD is considered a pretty good value for money brand in Europe. However, we've just found out BYD's car sales in Germany, what they were for the last 12 months, for 2023. In fact, we now know all Chinese EV sales in Germany in 2023. We can see whether or not they're actually doing well or doing badly. One company is doing very, very well. It's one of the most dominant EV manufacturers now in the German car market. All their cars are manufactured in China. Another one, well, BYD themselves have just fallen flat. It's quite a surprise and analysts are very shocked. They don't understand what's going on. Why is this happening? Here's my opinion on why BYD has, well, basically been a complete failure in Germany so far. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Thanks for tuning in. And you're probably thinking, Germany, why does it matter? Well, it's the biggest car market in Europe. That's why it matters. Biggest car market, biggest EV market even in Europe, because it's so much bigger than Norway's car market. It's very, very important. You clearly see why Tesla set up shop in Germany. Now, when we look at EV registrations for Germany in December, Chinese made cars, not Tesla. This excludes Tesla, this list. You can see here that one car manufacturer did well. One did okay, and the rest of them were terrible. MG sold 2,000 600 electric cars in December in Germany, which is, I think, a pretty good result. Smart, which is also now a Chinese brand, sold 1,763, and BYD sold only 701. Now, surprisingly, that was actually BYD's second best month of the entire year. Fourth place was Great Wall Motors with 405 deliveries. Polestar was next with 265. That was followed by Neo with 39 deliveries. 39, so 10, what? Actually, about 13 per week for NEO. Lincoln Co. sold 24, Maxxis 17, Lotus 16, Aways 2, and LEVC 2. So registrations of Chinese electric cars in Germany in November weren't particularly high. BYD sales were or 701, so very, very small number. Considering the fact BYD sold 300,000 cars worldwide, of those 160,000 were for the electric, well, it means that about 0.5% of BYD's total registrations worldwide were in Germany in November. Very, very small percentage. And obviously, BYD didn't expect this to happen. You're probably thinking to yourself, well, could it possibly be that BYD is just not that interested in Germany? Well, BYD sell, I believe now, four different models of car in Germany across a range of dealerships. So they have been there for quite a while. In fact, they have been selling cars in Germany now for more than 12 months. BYD did have one very, very good month. In the month of August, BYD sold 2,454 EVs, which is an amazing month. I mean, if they could do that every month, they would be a significant player in Germany. But unfortunately, that was the only month they went above 1,000 deliveries. Their second best month, December, 701. Uh, the best month after that was July with 404. Uh, in January, they sold 60. So, I mean, they have improved but sales are still very, very small, especially in comparison to their biggest rival worldwide outside of China, which is MG. MG and BYD are basically duking it out for who can sell the most Chinese EVs, Chinese branded EVs outside of China. And MG is clearly winning this race by a country mile. MG delivered 21,232 electric cars in Germany in 2023. 21,232, that's a pretty significant number. BYD was in fifth place with 4,139 deliveries. Considering BYD delivered uh, nearly 1.7 million electric cars worldwide, that number is obviously pretty disappointing for the company, 4,139. And it's not because BYD is not sending cars to Germany. The truth is here, these numbers are replicated across nearly every European country. BYDs just aren't selling in Europe. They're not selling in the UK. They're not selling in Germany. Not really selling anywhere. For some reason, surprisingly now, considering most people now do know about BYD, the average person has heard of BYD now. They're pretty significant. They're pretty, pretty well talked about by the media. People still aren't buying them, but they're buying MGs. They're buying smart EVs. 17,420 smart electric cars were sold. They're not particularly well known. Uh, Polestar sold 6,300, brand new brand. 
Great Wall Motors, 4,660. I mean, even Great Wall Motors outsold them. They only have one electric car, the Aura EV, and that still outsold BYD and their number of different models. Doesn't make sense. Very strange. But the truth is here, looking at these sales numbers for the entire year, Chinese EVs didn't really sell very well in Germany. There's a lot of fear within Germany. A lot of people think, ah, oh, you know what, we're in, we're in big trouble here. Um, Chinese manufacturers are going to flood the market. Um, a lot of concern from the government, from unions, about China flooding the market with cheap electric cars. There still is. But looking at these sales numbers right now, at this point in time, they clearly don't have really much to worry about. The big surprise here for me is NEO. NEO have actually been selling electric cars in Germany now for well over a year. In August, they had their best month of the year. They sold 411 electric cars in Germany. Their second best month was October with 289 deliveries. But for the entire year, NEO sold very few cars. Only 1,263 deliveries over 12 months. Now, NEO invested a lot of money in Germany. In fact, they've invested millions of dollars. They even have NEO houses in Germany where you can go and hang out, this big, expensive, luxurious place. It's like a cafe. Um, it has a service center there. You can go hang out and do stuff. I don't know what you do there. You just kind of, I don't know, hang out. But they, they're called NEO houses. And NEO have them in a few different countries in Europe. They have a lot of them in China. NEO have actually invested in also battery swapping stations, but in Germany. Pretty much no one is buying Neo electric cars. Neo do have a few models for sale. They're just not selling. So Neo and BYD have both really uh, just completely failed so far in Germany. Will this change in 2024? I don't think it will. To be fair, the BYD seal is a great car, but it's actually more expensive than the Tesla Model 3 in Germany. Uh, and it's definitely more expensive than a Tesla Model Y. I don't really think there's a good reason to buy it versus established brands. BYD's cars in Europe possibly are a bit too expensive. Maybe that's one reason they've failed. I'm not really sure. But in general, this concept of Europe being flooded by cheap Chinese EVs, it just hasn't happened yet. Yeah, they've been flooded by the Tesla Model 3 from, from Tesla. Uh, the Tesla Model Y is made in Germany, so that's not really relevant to this story. But realistically, Chinese brands are just not succeeding in Europe for whatever reason. What are your thoughts on this? What do you make of it all? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.